And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called Octo Rage. Octo Rage is a game in which you're a bunch of explorers and you've walked into a spot and found the dreaded Octo Man. Uh, which has tentacles and is coming to kill you. It's a card game where you're playing cards higher than the last player played. Eh, Uno-ish style. I'll show you. Each player is going to have a character which has a special power to it that you'll place in front of you. You're also going to have five health points. Your, this is going to be in the middle, and this is basically the attack here of the massive octopus, who's definitely not Cthulhu, and their attack is one. You're going to have a deck of cards which have various weapons and items in them that are numbered. There's also cards here which are simply going to reverse and then there are treasures which you'll be able to play on people to give them curses. Each player is going to draw three cards and on your turn you will play a card. Now if you're playing a number card in the middle of the table you are going to have to play a card that is higher than that number card the next person. So I can't play a two or a seven but I could play a twelve on top of that. If you can't play a card at any given point in time, then you'll take the damage shown here. The round ends, the piles discard it, and all players who are still in the game are going to draw a card. There are three special cards, the eight, whenever the eight is plays, the rage of the octopus gets higher. When you play this card, you dodge, essentially, and then turn order is reversed to the other player, and a treasure card you play in for someone else and it gives them a negative thing. For example, here if someone else plays dynamite, you lose one health. As I said, each player also has special abilities for their character cards um, that they'll be able to play, and each of those has symbols here. For example, Norbit, whenever he plays a dynamite card, he picks someone who loses two health. If you win a round, if you're the last person standing, everyone else has been eliminated, then you turn your card over. You no longer have your special power. If you win another round, then you win the game after you've done this. Card quality is good. Very good card quality. The pictures and art are fine. I mean, the... The numbers here, I do think it's weird that they included two green cards that were both a six and a nine. I, I would have at least made the artwork different on those, but the artwork's fine. Yeah, you're going to have to look up the symbology for everything. These tokens are bleh. And the rules are honestly not the easiest to understand, but then again, they were probably translated. Everything fits in a pretty small box. It's a small package, but I'd say the components are fine. Yeah. Not too good here, unfortunately. This is a crowded genre of games to play a card that's higher than the last person. There's a lot of these games out there, and most of them flow more smoothly than this one. This one has player elimination. Granted, it's temporary player elimination, but you are out of the round, and it, sometimes it can happen really fast. Nothing you can do about it. Every time you're playing eight, the Octo Man gets more powerful, and you know he, if he hits you twice, you're probably out. That's probably the way the game is going to work. Um, it's lucky. The special powers work if you have the cards that match the special powers. You don't really make many strong decisions over the course of the game. You play a higher card than the last person and reverse. And it's just, I can't recommend it at all. It's... There's a lot of these games out there, and some of them I do recommend. In fact, I have another game that I'll be reviewing in the future, which has a very similar feel to this, but it was fast, fun, snappy, family-friendly, easy to jump into, no player elimination per se. This here just felt like someone thought of an Octoman, thought that'd be funny, thought this theme would work, which doesn't matter at all. It's a themeless game, really. And it's you don't draw cards unless someone else gets hit. So many times you just get hit because you don't have a card to play on your turn. How was that fun? Where's the decision making? You're just not making any real decisions in this game. It's a game that kind of plays itself, and we got enough of those out there. I can't recommend this one. Dice Tower Judgment, boring!